Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to this video, guys. My name is Yaqad Zaman. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. We are going through learning how to understand du'as, implement them in our lives as well. So this is a beautiful du'a that I found for you guys. And I personally like this du'a. It contains three amazing parts. And you guys can also interact, inshallah, with this. You can put in the comments, suggestions, thoughts, reflections that come to your mind as well. So first of all, it's how, how do we read this dua? So, Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min kufri wal faqr wa adhab al qabr. So, oh Allah, indeed I seek refuge with you from, so bika is with you from min, kufr is disbelief, wa is and, al faqr is poverty, Wa is and adab is torment and qabr is the grave. So that's the that's the overall meaning. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al-kufri wal-faqri wa adab il-qabr. So for those of you guys who are interested in understanding the deeper meaning of this dua, just wait till the end inshallah. Those of you guys who want to know the grammar behind this, then let's check this out. So let's, uh, you can write this down yourselves right, to help you guys in your Tarkib i'rab classes as well. So first of all, as you know, we start off with Allahumma. Allahumma, what is this, guys? This is a munada. It's short for Ya Allah. It's a munada. Allahumma, oh Allah. So you write down munada there. And then you have inni a'udhu bika. Inna is harf mushabbaha bil fi'l. How many harf mushabbaha bil fi'ls are there? Put them in the comments below. So this is harf mushabbaha bil fi'l. It requires an ism and a khabar. Here's the ism. It's I. Hidden inside of it, inni. So, inni, indeed, I. And then, a'udhu. It's a fi'l, mudari, wahid, mutakallim. I seek refuge. Ya'udhu, ya'udhani, ya'udhuna, ta'udhu, ta'udhani. Ya'udhuna, all the way to the end. A'udhu. I seek refuge. Right? And if you want to say we, you would say, na'udhu. Na'udhu. B is harf jar. And then, ka is the majroor. It's a damir. Jara majroor put together. Where does it become connected to? The mudari'. Excellent. Min is jar. Put that there. And then you have, how many harf jars are there? Do you guys know? Put it in the comments below. Connected to the a'udhu. Kufr is going to be the ma'tuf alayhi. Right? So it's going to be the ma'tuf alayhi. And then you have um, wow, which is the atof. You have after that two ma'tufs. So faqr is the first ma'tuf. Ma'tuf number one. Wow is atof. Adab al-qabr is mudaf. And mudaf ilayhi put together becomes the second ma'tuf of kufr. Two ma'tufs put together. So let's write this down. Ma'tuf number one, ma'tuf number two. Connected together with the ma'tuf alayhi becomes the ultimate majroor. And then the jar and the majroor put together is going to become muta'allik to the a'udhu. There you have it. Now, all of this, obviously, is going to be a jumla fi'liya khabariya. Okay, jumla fi'li a'udhu. Jumla fi'liya khabariya. So, let's write this down, just so that you guys can see. So, all of that, so, bika min al-kufri a'udhu, all of that is going to become the fi'l, or jumla fi'liya khabariya. And then, if you were to look at inni, then that becomes a jumla ismiya khabariya. Ism plus the khabar, together it becomes... You know, what, the, the maqsood bin, nid, bin nida. You call this maqsood bin nida. Right? So this is the whole sentence. And as you know, it's a jumla in sha'iyah with Allahumma because you're asking Allah for something. It's a dua. Inni a'udhu bika min al-kufri wal-faqri wa al-qabr. A good dua to recite as well and to memorize. Okay, so let's look at the deeper meaning of this dua. Those of you guys who are interested in this. So first of all, let me just make some space on the side over here. So every human being in life has many, many challenges in life. And as Muslims, we know we want to protect ourselves from the challenges and the problems that are going to come. Allah knows best what kind of things we need to seek refuge from. So the Prophet ﷺ, out of his infinite, out of his amazing, beautiful du'as and the infinite wisdom that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has bestowed, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Prophet ﷺ tells us about the protection Protection from three things. What are the three things? First and foremostly, protection from kufr. The word kufr means disbelief. But also, the word kufr can also mean to be ungrateful. So, we want to seek Allah's protection in the life that we have left, in the years that we have left in our lives. 
you want to seek protection from falling into kufr because if you fall into kufr you've lost your faith everything you have worked for is wasted has no value at all likewise being ungrateful the opposite of shukr is kufr being ungrateful is also a waste of all of your efforts as well so we want to ask allah protection from these two things kufr and ungratefulness now this is one of the most severe things that a person can be afflicted with may allah protect us the second is poverty poverty leads to kufr you might think to yourself how is that there are many people around the world who are poor and they are not kafir Yes, but poverty makes a person give up their faith easily. There are many people around the world, unfortunately, missionaries that are working hard to influence poor people. They give them food and medication and schools to take them away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is why poverty, the Prophet sallallahu said, كاد الفقر أن يكون كفرا. Fakr, poverty, in many cases, leads to, to kufr, disbelief. So this has a knock-on effect on this. And thirdly, it's the Adab of the Qabr. Okay, so you got Kufr, number one, that you want to seek protection from. You got poverty that you want to seek protection from. And the third thing that you want to seek protection from is the Adab of the grave. And why do you people get the Adab of the grave? Because of the bad deeds they did in this life. It's like a reflection of your bad deeds. You do bad in this world, you're going to get a taste of it in, your, in the Qabr. And the Day of Judgment, you get the full whack. Right, the full adab you get over there, may Allah protect us. So actions, you know, people are missing actions in the dunya. They are missing the good deeds that they're supposed to be doing. And poverty is the opposite of wealth. And kufr is the opposite of iman. So you can see the lack of iman, the lack of wealth, and the lack of good deeds is something that leads to these three things. So if you actually were to write this down, so kufr, opposite of kufr is faith. Your iman, that you have your faith. This is what you need to work towards. Faqar, you need to have at least enough that will protect your iman and your family's iman. And adab al-qabr, you need to have good deeds and good actions. These are three things that are key for protection, protecting yourself. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. If there's any reflection you found, put it in the comments below. I'd love to hear. Thank you to all my patrons who support my channel. May Allah bless all of you guys. If you guys want to become patrons, check out the description below. Share this dua with others. Memorize it. Let me know what you think. And I will see you guys next time, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.